Hello and welcome everybody to 1972, the Titanic, the Hindenburg disaster, the Great Depression. None of those things happened in 1972, and that's why we have the Apex by Ben Hogan Golf. This is a really beautiful looking blade. The gold on it, the beautiful colors, the medallion. Ben Hogan was famous at this point for making some of the highest quality blades ever. It's like, Wilson, hold my beer. You know, that level of like, look what we can do. And so there's a lot of excitement about every new release. And so the Apex here in 1972 was another one of those exciting releases. So let's get this on the review table and see if we can see through some of the grime and dirt and talk about identifying features. As usual, we turn to the trailing edge to identify a golf club. Apex up here with the golden stake through it, and those little golden lines on either side, little accent lines. Ben Hogan stamped here. The Ben Hogan crest, there's a little flared portion around here. And you can see the toe profile right here, kind of fatter at the sole, gets narrower, kind of a muscle design right there. Pretty interesting, interesting toe profile. Here's the face, very no-nonsense grooves, no designs or patterns on the edges, just a groove pattern. It looks very clean. Let's see if I can navigate my sea of light stands and microphone stands and give you a top line look. Very nice, narrow top line. Uh, is that even any offset at all? It looks very much like a blade, kind of a pointy toe here on the six iron. Oh, did I show the sole? The sole right here, you can see this, this, the number of the iron stamped on there. Heel profile, we spin around the club. Very, very interesting blade. I mean, dirt, dirt. Hit golf ball out of dirt, and that's what we're doing. There's a little cosmetic knurling, crimping right here. I don't, it's not the normal crisscross knurling, just the straight line variety. Feral, well, looks like there's a serial number right here, black, red, black. This shaft is interesting. There's this long straight section here, and then we have an increased frequency of steps. The famous Ben Hogan Apex shaft, the lightweight steel shafts. I don't see a flex on here. It looks like that's been torn off. 1972 with the, let's see, the comments told me how to pronounce this. Camus, I think is that right? Camus grip with the usual pronghorn. Elk, no, not an elk. Pronghorn? Antelope? I don't know. Either way, that, and you can see the Camus right here. Brown, a color from the 50s, making an appearance in the 70s. So... Blades are supposed to be pretty unforgiving. Let's see how forgiving this is out on the range. I can't think of another club that came out in 1972 that I want more than this, as far as like an iron set. It's Ben Hogan, for decades, was that club through the 60s, well, the late 60s, the 70s, the 80s, even in the 2000s and the 90s. You, good iron. You want good Ben Hogan, the Ben Hogan name is associated with some of the finest golf implements ever made, ever. And I'm talking about like today with all their tailor-made with their, oh, we're at CNC machine precise. Well, you know what, Ben Hogan. I would choose a Ben Hogan over your beautifully precise CNC made irons. So yes, 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 1972, I'd put this in my bag. Um, the only reason why I wouldn't is because if I already have a set, then I would want some variety. That's the only reason why I put, wouldn't put this in my bag. Maybe because I want a different model. The director or producer series, but still Ben Hogan. So anyway, lovely club, beautiful. Even the way it's aged. I really like this patina. Some people don't like blades that look like this. I, I do. Um, the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit more wear here on the face and wear through this finish. But very robust, durable irons. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. 1972 Ben Hogan Apex irons. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Something you'd put in your bag. Something you're going to actually pursue. Or something you're just going to like... Hmm. 
appreciate but not necessarily pursue. If you want to support this channel, I have a Patreon account where I accept general support. I also have an Amazon shop. I'll put a link in the description below. I am an Amazon associate. I make proceeds from qualifying purchases. Please subscribe. Hit that bell icon. Thank you so much for watching. I am the Vintage Golfer.